we going to discuss about innate immunity in human health and disease innate immunity innate immunity is the natural phenomena of resistance to infection which an individual possesses right from the birth so immunity means that should be in that they have to fight against the infectious agents so that we have that resistance we have got from the birth itself the innate defense mechanism or non specific in the sense that they are effective against a wide range of potentially infectious agents so this defense mechanism it is non specific particular disease only so what is an vaccine that is if you create an immunization against like that that is a small pox you have uh, created that is uh, after vaccination only you got the uh, defense mechanism to uh, attack the um, small pox virus okay so that is specific non specific means if any this if any pathogen pathogen was uh, entering into your body you get some fever because the natural that is non specific one so what disease is going to what pathogen is going to attack that the, that was not uh, Uh, kind of uh, not known by our body mechanism defense mechanism but it will attack so specifically we won't say this is only going to come so but it has a natural resistance to attack the infectious agents and it is otherwise known as non specific or immunity or natural immunity because it doesn't know specifically it has to attack particular virus particular uh, um bacteria so it is attacking each and every that is bacteria virus or protozoan or fungal anything so it will fight against the pathogen so naturally it got the power in our body to attack the agents infectious agents so it is called as natural immunity or non specific immunity a number of innate defense mechanism or operated non specifically against large number of microorganism so there are so many uh, defense mechanism which is operating that is no, they are not specifically so they are working as it is so if any agent and en- enter into our body they will fight against it so it is naturally was there so that we will see in, in this diagram which are all the natural that is innate immunity so you can see here the lysozyme in the tears so when any foreign particle enters into our eye so it it it, it fight against as we get the tears through the tears it destroys the agent and the through the tears it comes out okay the removal of air bond from particles that is through a no while sneezing no it will come out if any particle enter in bronchioles in bronchial and mucal cilia so through that also it got to come, come out so it through this also it got come out that is here you can see the mucus cilia and through that the mucus has uh, it come out okay in the gut in the form in the acid so the gut means if any microorganism and that acid will kill it the skin the skin is the physical barrier if anything uh, um that is anything attack your skin water can you will get some water reddish like so there itself that uh, poison was uh, that uh, the infected agent was attacked and killed rapid ph changes in the stomach it also kills the microorganisms flushing of urinary tract so while flushing out uh, also the it come out and even the low ph of vagina is also attacking the so there are these are the all the physical barriers to attack the microorganisms okay and next we will see the next we will see the types of types and mechanism of innate immune that is immunity so the first one is anatomical barriers so anatomy means inside that is anatomical barriers are only two things skin and the mucus membrane you can see here it prevents the entry of microbes its acidic environment that is ph 3 to 5 retards the growth of microbes so when the pathogen enter through the skin what will happen means so 
before itself it won't allow the microbes to enter into it because it creates an acid environment that is the pH 3 to 5 by that it can suppress the growth of the microbes and mucus membrane mucus entraps the foreign microorganisms and compete with microorganisms for attach that is attachment so they will compete this mucus membrane won't compete that is compete with the microorganisms organisms that is by entrapping the microorganisms also the next one is physical barriers temperature so normal body temperature inhibits the growth of pathogens the fever also inhibits the growth of pathogens so normal body temperature also that is the temperature we will be that our the temperature normal uh, temperature is 96.8 or that is the normal 4 to 8 okay 96.4 to 96.8 so that is the normal temperature that also inhibits the growth of pathogen and even the fever high fever can also inhibits the growth of pathogen low ph so the gastric sec secretions that is the hcl is also kills the ingested that is microorganism which take we don't know we have but it, when it is allowed into our uh, uh, stomach region that is uh, and then it, it got through the term, uh, HCl acidity, it got killed. Chemical mediators, lysosomes act as antibacterial agent and cleaves the bacterial cell wall. So it is, that is the lysosomes, that is a suicidal bats, but here the lysozyme, it is an antibacterial agent. So it kills the bacteria and also it cleaves means it breaks the bacterial cell wall. And interferons, this is antiviral, that is, it is against, it works against the virus. Antiviral property and un in, under the, in the state of uninfected state itself, it, it will kill, that is interferon. Complementary substances produced from the leukocytes, lysis the pathogenic microbes or facilitate phagocytosis. So, complementary substances will be there. In the leukocyte, what will happen in the phagocyte, is cell eating, cell eating work will be takes place to kill the pathogenic microbes. Phagocytic barrier, specialized cells, monocytes, neutrophils, tissue macrophages. So they are phagocytosis and digest the whole microorganism. So cell eating so through that any specialized cells this is the monocytes this and also it comes under the um, immune system so this will act as an uh, phagocytic barrier that is digestive barriers of the digestion digesting the microorganism and next one is inflammatory barrier tissue damage and infection uh, induces leakage of vascular fluid Containing chemotactic signals like uh, sero, uh, serotonin, histamine, and post prostaglandin. So they will ask these three these three um, uh, substances what they have secrets uh, in uh, three marks or in two marks and one one mark. So through this they can um, inflammate. If you have any uh, damage or infection in the wound, it causes inflammation in your body. You know the particular portion will be inflammated. So these inflex the phagocytic cells into affected area and this phenomena is called as diapedesis. So this they can ask in your two mark. Okay. So this is the types of innate immunity. Hope you understand the topic. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. If you want to watch the video in Tamil, I had given the link in the description box. You can go and watch it. Give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.